Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome back to People of Quran, where every night I share with you a story about how one of our pious predecessors interacted with an ayah of the Quran. So, this is once again the student of Ibn Abbas, Qatada rahimahullah. And this is really just a very powerful reflection. You know, a lot of times we, we see people condemning others to hell uh, or, or speaking about the hereafter of the others. And at the end of the day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us you know, the general, but we don't know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do with an individual unless Allah or the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have informed us of the fate of that individual. So it's, you know, it's prohibited throughout uh, the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to start passing judgment on people's hereafter. Rather, you know, we, we, we deliver what Allah taught us to deliver and we hope for the best from people. And we stay silent when we believe there to be a, when we believe there is a punishment. So Qatata rahimahullah ta'ala, he says, Ma balu aqwamin yatakallafuna ilm nas He says, what is it with people thinking they have knowledge over other people's fates? Fulan fil jannah wa fulan fil nar. He said, people that go around saying this person is in paradise and this person is in hellfire. He says, فَإِذَا سَأَلْتَ أَحَدَهُمْ عَنْ نَفْسِهِ قَالَ لَا أَدْرِي He said, but that same person, if you ask him about himself, He'll say, I don't know. Meaning he has the audacity to say, this person is in paradise and this person's in hell. But if you ask him about himself, he'll say, I don't know where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to put me. He says, لَعَمْرِي أَنْتَ بِنَفْسِكَ أَعْلَمُ مِنْكَ بِأَحْوَالِ النَّاسِ He says, but that doesn't make sense because you know yourself way more than you know other people. وَلَقَدْ تَكَلَّفْتَ شَيْئًا مَا تَكَلَّفَهُ الْأَنْبِيَاءُ قَبْلَكَ And you have burdened yourself with a burden that none of the prophets before you have burdened themselves with. So he says, قَالَ نَبِيُّ اللَّهِ نُوح He said, Nuh alayhi salam said, and this is Surah Al-Shu'ara, verse 112. قَالَ وَمَا عِلْمِي بِمَا He said, and what is my knowledge of that what they used to do? So Nuh alayhi salam is saying, I don't know what they used to do, I don't know what their fate is. وَقَالَ نَبِيُّ اللَّهِ شعيب. And he said, Shu'ib alayhi salam said, and this is in Surah Hud, Verse 86, That what remains lawful from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is best for you if you consider yourselves to be believers. But I am not a guardian over you. Means, you know, at the end of the day, I don't know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to do with you, whether He's going to choose to forgive you or whether He's going to punish you or hold you accountable. وَقَالَ اللَّهُ لِنَبِيِّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ And Allah said to His Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم And this is the verse in the juz that we're covering now. Surah at tawbah uh, verse 101. Allah said to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم لَا تَعْلَمُهُمْ نَحْنُ نَعْلَمُهُمْ You, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, do not know them, but we know them. And that's really powerful. Qatada rahimahullah is saying, if there was anyone who had the knowledge of the, fate of, of the fates of people, and who would be in heaven and who would be in hellfire? It would be the Prophet ﷺ. But even the Prophet ﷺ was only told about certain people. And so even the Prophet ﷺ did not know the fate of everyone, the fates of all people. So Qatada rahimahullah is saying, if Muhammad ﷺ did not know exactly who was going to paradise and who was going to hellfire, who do you think you are to put yourself in this position of a judge? Right? And that's a really powerful example. Worry about yourself. That doesn't mean that you don't call people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That doesn't mean that you don't warn people about hellfire. And more importantly, give them the glad tidings of paradise and invite them to the mercy of Allah. But at the same time, don't put yourself in a position where you, know, where, where you start uh, declaring that you're in hellfire or you're in paradise. Because the Prophet sallallahu mentioned to us a, a person that went to hellfire because he told another person that he's in hellfire. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you know, did you have knowledge of my decree and where I would put people and, and, and the fates that I've assigned to people? So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from that self-righteousness and we ask Allah to make us dua and not qudha, to make us callers but not judges. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us amongst the people of paradise and those who call to the gates of paradise and the gates of Allah's mercy. Allahumma ameen. Jazakumullah khairan. Inshallah ta'ala, I'll see you tomorrow night for an episode of People of Quran. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.